digits, there will be some differences that will that you will see. But uh, that's what what this means. All right, let's do um, uh, example problem two. This one, uh, guys, this is very simple. But um, uh, just a couple of exams ago, um, I used to not cover this, but um, a couple of exams ago, they had a question like this, and uh, someone that uh, gave me feedback, uh, he says, you know, I had a problem like that. I did not know how to handle it. Well, um, it's very simple. So let, uh, I'll just spend a, a couple of seconds on it. Uh, but it, they can give you an angle in terms of degrees, 30, in this case, 39 degrees, 41 minutes, 54 seconds. And then they ask you to find uh, that angle in terms of degrees. Um, the, the answer is down here, 39.69 degrees. But the way it works, please remember, there are 60 seconds in one minute and 60 minutes in one degree. So you start with the seconds, divide that by 60, 54 over 60 gives you how many fraction of a minute you have. And then now add that fraction to the 41 minute, which is 41.9 divided by 60. That gives you how many fracture, uh, fraction of degrees you have. Add it to 39. There is 39.69. Some of you have equation, uh, calculators that actually uh, do this uh, automatically for you. But they also could go the other way. In other words, they give you an angle, 91 point seven four degrees. An angle is ninety one point seven four degrees. Can you express it in terms of degrees, minutes, and seconds? The answer is given to you. This is very simple, but if you don't know it, you just don't know it. But it showed up on the test not too long ago. All right, we have we have another problem. I need for you to do this one. All right. I don't want to spend too much time on these kinds of on these problems because we also need to cover vertical curves and some other very, very interesting subjects today. And we have about uh, an hour left, so let's use it wisely. Here, let's do this problem together, all right? Uh, the two tangents shown on the next uh, slide intersect 2,000 feet beyond the station 10 plus 0, 0. The back tangent has a bearing of north 45 degrees west, and the forward tangent has a bearing of north 15 degrees east. The decision has been made to design a 3,000-foot radius horizontal curve. So that's what's given. You are asked to, to find the following items. What is the central angle of the curve? What is the central angle of the curve? I have not told you anything about the central angle. I did mention it at one point, And let's see who remembers what the central angle is. But let's take a look at the next slide. Because here uh, we have the, here we have Donald actually gave me an answer, but uh, we'll see if that's right or wrong. I'm sure it's correct, uh, Donald, but uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, this is the sketch. And, and at this point, some people ask me, or they have asked me in the past, uh, will they give us this sketch, or do we need to create it? Well, uh, more than likely, they will give you this sketch. But it is possible that they expect you to create it based on the description that they give you. All right? Now, here's the, the PI. They don't give you the station of the PI. However, they give you enough information that you can calculate the station of the PI. All right? And of course, they give you the bearings of both the back tangent and the forward tangent. And guys, here it is. Please make a note. This is the central angle. 
All right, the central angle. Now here, a lot of people get confused about the degree of curvature and the central angle. I'm going to explain it right now. So please pay attention so I don't, you don't ask me to repeat it. All right? The central angle for a horizontal curve is the angle at the center that subtends the entire curve. All right? I'll repeat it. It is at the center of the circle, the angle that subtends the entire curve, meaning it subtends the curve all the, all the way from PC to PT. Now, now, you tell me, how is that different from a degree of curvature? Well, please remember, the degree of curvature only subtends either 100 foot of the arc or 100 foot of the cord. In this case, the central angle subtends the entire curve. It could be several hundred feet. All right? So I hope that you realize the, the, the difference. However, I'm going to tell you another, uh, I was going to say secret, but it's really not a secret, another point of information. And that point of information is the following. Write it down, because this could be very valuable to you on the test. The central angle, as we just defined it, is equal to the intersection angle. So what we've been talking about all this long as the intersection angle, which is the angle between the extension of the back tangent and the forward tangent, geometrically, that is exactly the same value as the central angle. And it's because of the geometry of these two angles. All right? Joseph, uh, what you say may have a typo in it. I will tell you, the central angle is the same as the angle of intersection, the angle of intersection, all right? Let me know if, if you accept and understand the difference. All right, let's move on, guys. What is the central angle for this curve? Give me the answer. These are the choices. This is where the fun begins, all right? And I'm already getting some, some answers here. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, some of you, well, those of you who are answering, you're, you're saying either 60 or D, and you're correct. All right? So uh, here it is. The central angle is 60 degrees, and really all you have to do is find the the angle of uh, intersection and it's 60 degrees, there it is. Okay, let's move on to the next one. What is the tangent distance for this curve? What is the tangent distance for this curve? Go to uh, page 15, find the appropriate equation, and see if you can give me an answer. What is the tangent distance for this curve? These are the choices. All right, Min on is giving me a choice. I won't tell you which one it is yet. OK, all right, all right. So far, I have five or six answers, and, and you're telling me B is correct, 1732.05 feet. OK, I accept that. All right, guys, let's move on. What is the length of the curve? What is the length of the curve? Calculate it. Again, go to page 15. Identify the correct equation, and don't make the mistake that I told you. Do not make that mistake. What's L? Come on, guys. For problem three. Give me the number, not, not just the, the choice. A, B, C, D, E, if you can.
Okay, I'm waiting for uh, St Stephen. That's not one of the choices. All right. Okay, guys. I think. All right, all right, all right. I think I think the number uh some of you Stephen actually came up with 3141.5, 3141. A lot of you are coming up with 3150. Uh, all right, 3141. I think I think this may be the answer B, 3141. But this uh, this is it's supposed to be 3150. Change this to 3150 if you could. Change that nine to 50 and and. If you're coming up, yeah, Jeremy also is coming up with 3141. If your if your calculation shows 3141, uh, that is correct. All right, and the answer would be something very close to that. All right, let's move on. Um, what is what is the station of the PC? What's the station of the PC? You know, they give you enough information that you can calculate the station of the PI. So how, if you know the station of the PI, how do you come up with the station of the PC? Always, always take the station of the PI, subtract the tangent from it in terms of stations. All right? And several of you, Stephen uh, says 12 plus 67. Yeah. All right. So, yes, this this is choice E is correct. Twelve plus sixty seven point nine five. So those of you who are getting that, that that's the station of the PC. All right. Next, what is the station of the PT? Remember what I told you about that. The station of the PT. There's only one correct way. So. Let's see what we, what you get, and then we need to move on. Uh, Men on already give me uh, give me the the name uh, the an answer, and, and I believe it's correct. We'll wait for uh, a couple of other choices. All right. Okay. Forty. 4.95, 44.95, this should be the station of the PT. Remember, the only correct way, take the station of the, take the station of the PC and add to it the length of the curve. All right? Make sure you do that correctly. Very good chance that will be on the test. All right? Now, let's do problem six. What is the degree of curvature of this curve using the arc definition? Kendra has already given me an answer to this one. Jeremy is saying 1.9, so is uh, Kendra. Guys, problem number six, D is correct, 1.9 degrees. Make sure that you also get that. Let's move on. Uh, this is really important, guys, this next problem. This problem deals with on the NCEE 